Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be painting a Necron Warrior. We're going to be painting this Necron Warrior in the colors of the Nihilic Dynasty. This is my favorite of the Necron Dynasties, and this is going to be the first of a handful of videos. We're going to go through eventually and do all seven of the main dynasties that appear in the Necron Codex. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this mini. start this model off, we're going to prime it with Lead Belcher Spray Primer. Now make sure you get a good coverage because this is also your base color for the model. Once your primer is dried, we're going to begin with a all over wash of Nuln Oil. It's going to darken down our silver, it's also going to fill in all the details, and it's going to darken up certain spots of the armor so that we have weathering, maybe even an oily appearance to the armor panels. Once that shade is dried, I'm going to do an overall dry brush of Necron Compound. This is going to brighten our silver back up. It's going to make some patches brighter than others. It's going to make it reflect the light, and it's going to help build up our color back to where we kind of started. Now we're going to go through and use Seraphim Sepia. We're going to paint this on all of the joints of the model, and anywhere that he has his sort of under mechanical parts showing. So anywhere that the armor panels have been blown off, or there are exposed wires, we're going to paint with this color. Once that's dried, we're going to take Contrast Black Templar and we're going to paint the weapon of the Necron with this. Now be careful not to get this on his hands. We're not painting the whole weapon. We're leaving the main barrel with the silver color that we've done previously. But any of the support parts and the main bulk of the weapon where he grips it, we're going to go ahead and paint those with his black color. Once that's done, we're going to begin with Sotek Green. We're going to start painting his shoulder panels with this. There's also a panel on the front of his chest we'll paint this way. Now this color is going to appear somewhat dark, don't worry. We're going to highlight the edges later on in this process. Just be careful not to get this on any of the silver parts. Once that's dried, we're going to take Retributor Armor. We're going to paint this on the decal, or the symbol that's on his chest plate. And then we're going to paint the faceplate of his head. Save yourself a little bit of time here, and don't paint into the eyes or into the crevices of his teeth. Since we've already shaded those, there's no reason to paint over that again. Now we're going to go through with Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to shade all of the gold areas. Now be careful not to get this on the blue. You'll notice I've done a blue stripe going down the center of his head. That's pretty common among Nihilic Dynasty warriors. Now we're going to begin to edge highlight the blue panels. We're going to use Temple Guard Blue for this. Now be careful to only get the edges with this color. And if you want to, you can apply chips or streaks across the armor, doing thin lines starting at the edge of the armor and working your way in. Now we're going to take Stormhost Silver. And we're going to edge highlight select points on his weapon. And we're really just kind of picking out areas that the contrast paint already allowed the silver to show through anyway. And then we're going to take and edge highlight just the most raised surfaces of the Necron's armor. Now that that's done, we're going to take Warped Stone Glow. We're going to paint all the cables and tubes that are on the weapon also hanging off of the Necron himself. There's a couple by some of his joints, so just be sure to check your Necron and find any spots where there are cables hanging off of it and paint it with this color. Now that that's all done, we're going to take Rune Lord Brass. We're going to paint all of the cables that are not flat on the model with this color. We're also going to paint the scarab that is coming out of the chest of this particular Necron Warrior. With that all done, we're going to use Athonian Camo Shade. 
we're going to shade all of the green cables that we've just painted. So it's going to darken them down, it's going to pool up in some areas and help create the appearance of a shadow on the cables. Now we're going to take Cordex White and we're going to just dot each of the circles on his weapon. We're also going to pick out his eyes with this color and any other spots that we want to have the Necron kind of Tesseract glow effect. With that dried, we're going to take Tesseract Glow. We're going to put this on each of the dots we've just painted and in all the crevices that are along the weapon. This is going to give the appearance of a green glow effect to the weapon, which is exactly what you want for a Necron weapon. Now finally, we're going to take Moot Green, and we're just going to use this to highlight the areas that would catch the light on the cables. And with that, we're done with this Necron Warrior. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. Then go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me paint in future videos. Got a lot of projects we're working on, and I'm excited for them. So for now, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.